8,440 pounds, the triple slide camp kitchen bunkhouse cougar coming back for another season here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And this is a very fun series of trailers. I like going through cougars. It's something that speaks to me very nicely. And it's, it's easy to miss a lot of what they're doing because if we take a look inside, uh, first of all, a full interior facelift revision is beautiful. But Cougar is a brand that gives us a lot of big fifth wheel feels in a travel trailer shell. They're giving us things like thicker sidewalls, a full-time RV warranty assurance that is almost unheard of in travel trailers. Jayco Eagle is one of the only other ones that does it, and Cougar's been doing it longer. Uh, you have the same uh, hot cold camp rating as a Cougar fifth wheel or a Montana fifth wheel. There's a lot of big time, big fifth wheel assurances and fifth wheel features like the uh, 70 by 80 king bed that you find in the standard and automatic leveling doing all the heavy lifting for us. This is uh, kind of what I call in that premium plus category. It's far more than just a conventional laminated trailer. It has all the pressings and trimmings of something that you want to have for a long time and spend a long time enjoying. And I really like what I see here. I've liked this floor plan for a long time, but the facelift that they've given in here, it still reads Cougar. It still feels Cougar, but the lighter, brighter look that we got here, I think opens it right up and it's just so refreshing. I wanna give you two quick housekeeping notes, however. Uh, some things that you will likely see different in the RVs, the 34 TSB Cougars that we have in stock at Halet RV through the year. Right now you're looking at what you've always seen from Cougar, and that's carpet in the slide out. I don't know when, I don't have a hard date on this because they're having some supplier issues, but that will be going away. That will be going to a, uh, like a marine grade, almost like the same kind of material that you find in the floor of a pontoon boat, if you're familiar with that. Um, they'll be swapping out the carpet basically, but I don't yet have a date on that. They're, they're trying to make it happen. Also, this is the standard refrigerator over here. It's what you've seen from Cougar. It's an eight cubic foot two-way. Very good for off-grid camping because you're propane. You know, you're not really tethered to the sun or anything. Cougar is now going to be offering a 12 volt compressor fridge that is larger, faster cooling. The camper doesn't have to be level. It's very traveling friendly. All the normal benefits of a 12 volt DC compressor and fridge. We will be likely stocking quite a few of those here at Halet RV. It just simply wasn't available yet. So keep in mind, you're looking at what this camper is currently and not necessarily what it will be. For little tiny revisions like that, I won't tend to reshoot full footage. I just want to give you an idea of what's coming because this footage tends to live for a long time. So what are the good things that you can depend on? Well, the vaulted ceiling up here makes this thing look and feel wide open. Keystone's actually the originator of the vaulted ceiling. Little RV history fact for you. And the lighting package in this is just phenomenal. That is something that Cougar does very well. Um, I'm using the in-command panel next to me over here, which is awesome that these are standard in-command, which is kind of interesting. Cougar has in-command. Montana High Country does not which is a bigger fifth wheel. Full Montana does not. You actually have to go up to Legacy Montana to reintroduce in command. Cougar's very tech advanced in that way. But what I'm getting at is there's a lot of things here, like whether it's the lights, and I mean a great lighting package in this, the uh, awnings, slides, all kinds of things. Heating and cooling can be controlled off this, and if you can do it off uh, the in command panel, just like the picture shows, you can do it off your phone. Of course, the camera with its little squirrel ADHD takes a minute to focus there. Anyway, um, sorry, I, I got to keep myself entertained. I've done, oh, I, I think, over 7,000 of these videos in my career now, folks. After a while, I got to do something to keep myself engaged. Now, Cougar has gone away from those wooden kind of plantation blinds, and they've gone to a blackout roller shade. And man, it is, I mean, stress on the blackout. It straight blots out the sun. But remember all of these windows and their positioning. It's overlooking your campsite not the neighbors. And that's one of the areas I think this 34 TSB really, really shines is that plethora of those panoramic door side windows. Now, um, kind of like we saw, you can control in-command lighting. Over here, there's a dimmer switch on the wall. 
And if you want to kind of bring the light down within the slide a little bit, make it into a night light, perfect for movie times at night or early morning, you can do that. And obviously, you know, you can swell it back up just as easily. One of the things that is optional that we love to put in these Cougars here, and we've had a great response from it, appreciate the folks who have brought your business to my family's operated dealership here, and that is a theater seat in place of a hide -a bed that's standard. And the reason I like to do this is logically, to me, this is a bunkhouse. And it has an extra bunk in the back. You, you're giving your kids like a Taj Mahal privacy room back there. Or maybe not kids, guests, whatever the case may be, mother-in-law, I don't know. And I don't mean that in a derogatory fashion, mind you. But this one already has enough sleeping. So how about putting that theater cinema seat directly across from Boardwalk and Park Place where you're actually looking at this giant 4K HD TV? That, to me, makes sense because this gives, like, what I'm going to say mom and dad the W. Mom and dad get the win here. Now there's similar floor plans out there like the um, 326BHDS Freedom Express. The 32BH Whitehawk are similar but they do not have the third slide over here. The kitchen does not slide in those. That is one of the things they're lighter. They'll, weigh, uh, they'll, they'll cost a little less but they won't give you this massive wide open living room feel and if you got a lot of bodies in here that's something you're going to appreciate. Uh, 15,000 BTU Coleman uh, Quieter AC Standard. Now, cool thing with uh, Keystone, a couple of their uh, proprietary innovations where their um, ductwork links up in the ceiling, they have these extra plastic joining pieces, basically. Think of it like air conditioner Legos. <laughs> and what that's going to do is help make sure that that ducting doesn't um, collapse over time so that your air conditioner maintains proper airflow for longer periods of time. Now, a more recent thing, they've recently changed this up. They've cr uh, created this little kind of whirly gig AC vent up here. Now, this is brand new. I don't know if this actually works or not. I will never just blatantly just make stuff up to you guys. I hope you always appreciate you always get real facts from Halo RV. Subscribe to our channel if you appreciate that. But, allegedly, that increases the airflow into the RV, which means this should stay cooler, easier in here. Does it actually work? I don't know. In theory, it should. I don't believe they would be marketing it like they have been lately if it doesn't work. I believe that they've done the testing because Keystone's engineering department is stellar. I've been in there. They are, they're so smart, they make me feel so stupid. They, and I'm not that smart, don't get me wrong. They're just really smart. <laughs> now, one of the other cool things here the TV is not fixed mounted. If we take a look, you see how that can pivot for easy, easy viewing. Not to mention we've got that electric space heating fireplace below. And I want to proactively address a question here. People will sometimes say on this floor plan when they see my videos, they say, well, that's stupid. The TV blocks the door. They should make the door open the other way for the bunk room. Understand they cannot. They cannot do that because of fire code. For fire safety reasons, the doors from a bedroom sleeping space like that need to open into the living area toward the door. So it just can't happen. That being said, it's not that big a deal. And most of the time, I don't think you're really going to have the TV cranked around that severe of an angle anyway. Speaking of what's over here, you might be wondering, what is this thing? This is a thermal sensor, a little thermistor. It's talking to the in command so that it can, you know, tell the air conditioner or the furnace or whatever to turn on or off. You'll see a couple of those through the RV. Now, we saw with the in-command, you can touch the touch screen panel, you can use your phone, but you don't have to. Because here in the living room and in the bedroom, they give us a dedicated light switch. So if you're not into all the techno stuff, you don't have to be. Anytime you need, you can just flick the switch, turn the lights on and off, and isn't that... What camping's about simple, easy, and effective. And Cougar gives us all that, but they also give us the ability to go above and beyond. Now back here in the bunk room, there's a very underrated feature I think is very powerful here. And I think it's because most of the time when people shop for RVs, you don't get to see them with the lights on. But notice that we're doing that for you here at Halo RV. It's not fun carrying a heavy battery around, guys, but it lets me show you things like this, like the fact that you have an actual light switch on the wall, so you can walk in and be like, hey kids, lights out. Now there's individual lights above each of the sleeping spaces, but the tall lights on the ceiling that are gonna be harder for some folks to reach, well, you gotta switch for those. I'm not gonna keep flicking them in case someone's like epileptic or something. I probably should have given you a warning. Now Cougar is the originator of what I like to call the move bunk, get out the way. You got a handy little gas strut and a pivot point here, and it could not be easier to get the bunk out of the way. All these beds, by the way, are 300 pound rated. 
So, I mean, obviously you've seen that in the up-down position. Um, if uh, you notice down here, we've got a cool kind of daytime sofa. But if we take a little bit more of a look, you see that that upper bed can fold down like we saw, but the sofa also folds down into a sleeping space. Now, there is also storage below that, and that is another one of those qualities this bunk room does so well. So I wanna hit, I wanna give you like some serious highlight points in this bunk room, because I think it's one of the best executed private rear bunk rooms I've seen. So you've got a sofa for daytime expansion space. On a rainy day, you will really appreciate that. We will see all the storage um because this thing has great storage but you have a pair of what i call big kid bunks over here they're a little bit wider now that does mean that this has a smaller camp kitchen outside everything is a push and a pull i'm not only going to tell you sunshine and rainbows but this gives you that fourth dedicated bunk sleeping space over here that most camp kitchen private bunk houses do not this is a bunk room that can sleep four not three and sometimes that one extra body is just enough to make it or break it so as i mentioned there is full storage below that sofa but as we start working our way around this countertop in the back here is very handy you'll always find something to put on a countertop that's i mean if nothing else you can sit on it but uh <laughs> whether it's little phone charging station, something like that, little place to work on a coloring book, you get the idea, a lot of things you could do there. Now, if you're really, really cool, you throw a TV or something up here for the kids, but again, this could be used for more than just kids. This could be a guest space. This could be a private rear bedroom in a sense, but all the way below all this, hidden away so nicely is all the storage. And speaking of hidden, we are exposing a hidden feature right now, the hidden hinges that they've upgraded to on these cabinets as compared to previous years on the Cougars. They are now in witness protection. They are hidden from public view. Pardon me real quick. I'm going to just get that out of the way. Let you see that drawer space. And this is, again, I think one of the greatest qualities in this Cougar bunkhouse. All of the storage dedicated to just in the bunk room because anybody with kids can tell you they use so much space is that just my experience is that like a shared experience if your kids use up way more room than they should leave me a little note let me know that i'm not just alone there as a dad who you know maybe i'm raising a little a little miniature hoarder now coming out of the bunk room we're gonna get a better view of our huge door side super slide windows this is you know the easiest way to get to see all this and again if you're standing in the kitchen sitting in the chair you hear a noise you can pop your head out there and say is the kid okay did they do something crazy as if you didn't have enough sleeping you know we did swap out the the uh theater or well, the high to bed for theater seat here but if you notice you can flip this down into a uh additional sleeping space here or you could always give us a call say, yeah, I really need one with that high to bed because I'm going to sleep like 12 people in this thing. Well, give us a call. We'll make it work. Now, I want to really go through the kitchen storage. But interestingly, the kitchen storage is actually going to start over here, back by the theater seat. Behind that closet that we saw in the bunk room, they have a huge dedicated, almost kind of bonus pantry. But if we open that up and take a look, you can see... That's some serious space. I love that they didn't just waste that. It would have been too easy just to waste that. As we pivot our way back around here, we already kind of saw the TV pivoted out, but that is actually a big double jointed swing arm. And if we really swing that out of the way, you can see that there's a big, what I call, pantry tainment center back there. That's actually one of my original RV nerdisms. That is a big chunk of space. We already did the little housekeeping note talking about the differences in refrigerators that you may get or could find here at Haywood RV. Again, we are definitely going to be getting quite a few with that 12 volt compression fridge as soon as it really does come into play. Now, real quick, while we're standing right here, I want to take a, take a look. On the face of the island, you see easy reach outlets. Up on the countertop, just above it, by the wall, you see uh, household and USB plugs. Back in the corner by the kitchen window, you see household plugs. Also, notice how that window is not located directly behind the stove, so you don't have greasy backsplash issues. And, and uh, it does still open for airflow. They've really, I mean, really executed this very, very nicely. 
Uh, working our way over here, you got that big cabinet next to the microwave. We can crack that open. But the thing is, down below, and this is all sealed edge press membrane countertops. And recently, Cougar did raise their countertop levels a little bit, by the way, just to make them a little easier to use. But that also meant that all their hardware, like in the kitchen, got a little bit bigger. You saw all kinds of drawers there, but you're about to see four more right here. And as we slide through, you see massive area down below for a wastebasket pots and pans. You've got a, a stainless double sink below that cutting board style cover right there. High rise faucet and that head does pull out for a sprayer. And yet there's a little more storage yet. We're going to actually revisit the dinette over here. Not only can this fold down into a sleeper, uh, but if we get the table out of the way and move those cushions, you see that it can also store stuff. So <laughs> Everything in this RV, it's like everything is hidden. You walk in, you're like, oh, what a nice living space. But then you can just start opening things and, and putting stuff in stuff, and there's just all sorts of storage in here. I, I like this thing. The only thing this RV not is small. You know, one of its few drawbacks is that to get you all this stuff, it does need to be fairly large. And, and, Check this out, even a full viewing window in the entry door, not just a frosty glass job. But again, speaking of those windows, <laughs> the visibility, the light that you get from this is amazing. It's just so overpowering. My camera is like, I, I, can't, I can't handle it. And there's so much, it's actually called light pollution that comes in. I wanted you to get to see a good, clean, real look at it, but I also want you to understand all these open for airflow. They give you awesome visibility. It's a super fun feature. Now this bathroom is similarly well executed, well thought out. They've done an amazing job in here. Um, you, you notice how the shower enclosure is actually clear. It's right in front of us, but it's not blocky. It makes the whole room look and feel larger. Good sized medicine cabinet, more sealed edge press membrane countertop here for the bathroom. But what's really cool is actually what's under that. If we take a look, you see that below that big two-hand adult sink, there's just a huge chunk of storage space, which RV bathrooms are not always very good about. A lot of times they just put a ton of pipes and wasted space down there and lots of leg room for this toilet. If you're bigger like me, you need more room to stretch out sometimes. You know, it's... Folks, uh... If we're being honest, sometimes you got to spend some time here, and it's nice to not have to have leg cramps because you got to do some twist em up bathroom yoga to do your business, you know? This is also a dual entry bathroom. I was previously standing in that door over there. You see, you have a sliding uh, kind of privacy panel door. I wanted to give you a better look at that big shower on this one. Now, with that vaulted ceiling and the position of their skylight, this is exceptionally tall person friendly. It's something that I really appreciate, certainly. Now over here, you see you got a great linen cabinet built right into the bathroom. Well, as we work our way down that, you see that it's just got shelves galore. So you can really pack different things into it, not just towels. But if you got towels, linens, toiletries, etc., you get the idea. Um, in here, a Cougar standard feature is a 70 by 80 king bed. Big king bed just like you find in their fifth wheels. That's one of the things that's kind of hard to find in travel trailers, just like in the uh, living room, you still have a switch that's easy to reach for the lights. You don't have to go clickety clacking, touchity tapping on the in command system to get to it. Now the bedroom is, I don't know, I guess you could say fairly cramped. They, they, you don't have a ton of room to walk around in here, but this is a long, big RV. I mentioned that before. They made the bedroom functional. You can still walk around the bed. They just didn't do a whole lot extra here. But what's nice is with that bathroom door straight off the bedroom, it always feels like you got a little more space. Now, this is a 50 amp coach. It is second air ready. If you've seen our previous videos, you know sometimes we build these with the second AC. And as you're seeing right here, sometimes we do not. We like to equip high volume RVs like Cougars. Sometimes we'll have them in stock multiple ways at the same time. Different buyers in different climates have different needs, different wants, different budgets. We are always doing our best to try to have the right thing for as many people as possible here at Haylet RV. And sometimes that means just building the same way a couple or same thing a couple different ways. Now there's of course a privacy shade for that front windshield, but it really does open this room up very nicely. And this model is super CPAP friendly. Both side stands have household USB outlets and 
One of the things we're going to talk about more outside is inverter prep. If you choose to add an inverter to this RV, that outlet right over there on that little CPAP stand, it will be live powered off your battery. One in the kitchen and the TV will also similarly be powered. And finally, before we step outside, a quick look here below the bed. You can see that there's like a full like chest trunk storage going on below the 70 by 80 king bed. What's nice is it is completely cut off from anything outside. So you don't have as much exchange of vapor, bleed through. Um, and I'm really kind of keen on the fact that hidden hinges that they have in here now that we, we have exposed, <laughs> they, uh, they really do dress this up. It really does make the cabinets look just nicer, polished, more finished. It feels more cougar -y? Now, one of the things I know folks appreciate about us here at Halid RV is just the way that we shoot you straight, even when it's not always just the best news. Well, in the case of this one here, when we have all of the slides closed, now we are already up in the bedroom, so we know we can get through the bedroom and the bathroom. There's no slides there. However, beyond that, if you need something, you better be getting it from the camp kitchen because you're not getting through here unless you're Stretch Armstrong or Mr. Fantastic from the uh, Fantastic Four. Different RVs have different strengths and different drawbacks, and travel access is not this one's forte. This is great for destination use, not so much for uh, in motion. Now we're gonna see the pass-through below that king bed a couple times, but uh, you can see the aluminum structure in here. That's kind of what I wanted you to see, that all aluminum uh, cage that you typically find on the Cougars here. The in-command system that we're looking at, that is basically our central nervous system. It also is a centralized point for all the wiring. And real quick, note the motion-activated light above that. That is a handy, handy feature to have right there. Now, uh, the cool thing about that in-command is it gives, uh, like, God forbid you need service work on this, it gives technicians one centralized point to access all the wiring. And that's another cool thing on Keystone. They were the first uh, trailer manufacturer and are still one of the only ones to color code every single wire in this. So first of all, it's made it easier for their staff to install things properly. We just don't seem to have Keystone electrical issues because it's very easy for them to see what they're doing. And God forbid we did, we could trace it down far, far easier because electrical work is very difficult to diagnose. Now, take a look at the awnings, plural. Uh, they're <laughs> because with that big door side uh, slide out, it's giving us huge windows, which is great for keeping an eye on everything. But it eats into our patio space something fierce, or rather it would, saving the fact that Keystone thankfully put a second awning right on the face of it. Now, that is also an anti-slam entry door and you have the Moride stable steps and a big handle for easy come and go. The stable steps are gonna take a lot of the wiggle jiggle out of the trailer as uh, all those little kiddo bodies in the back jacked up on, you know, pixie sticks and Mountain Dew and marshmallows um, <laughs> come and go. But along with that, the one-touch automatic leveling that is standard on this Cougar. Actually, automatic leveling is standard on almost every Cougar. They were the first travel trailer brand to standardize automatic leveling. Only their smaller 22-foot model uh, floor plans are not physically capable of accepting an auto leveling system, and they still have power stabilizer jacks. What it's going to do is it's going to make this thing feel like it's on a concrete pad when you're at your destination. Auto leveling systems are great for enhancing stability at your destination. Um, I, I mentioned very early in the video, Cougar is also uncommon in laminated travel trailers in that they have a full two inch sidewall versus an inch and a half common wall. And that's just one of those Cougar doing Cougar things that goes into their hot cold camping package. We'll, we'll talk about in a little more detail. First, that automotive windshield up front. It is a different glass than a window. It is a windshield. It has the exact same kind of install as what you might have in the front of your vehicle. Now, as we move up here a little bit closer, there's just a whole gaggle of things to look at. Like, first of all, right up front, you've got 30-pound uh, tanks instead of 20s, giving you more time between refills. You've got uh, magnet holdbacks on our baggage doors. We have side camera prep not just rear view camera prep. These are now side camera prepped as well. A lot of those more premium class trailers I keep talking about are doing that. In here, there's a couple really cool things. Easy reach battery disconnect. Now that switches for the nose cap accent lights. Easy reach for our automatic leveling controls. Then you see that other box over there with that black and green sticker. Cougar is not just roof solar prepped. They are also inverter prepped. If you choose to add an inverter to this RV, it's called a Cougar OTG package. So, I mean, if you're down with OTG, and you know me, I definitely am down with OTG, getting off the grid. That, <laughs> then, if you choose to add an inverter to this RV, 
the there's a plug in the bedroom the kitchen and I believe the television can be uh, are, are going to be live off the battery if you choose it's just another nice thing that Cougar's done that they've been ahead of the curve on. They've been doing that for about a year now, and I don't think a lot of people realize it. Now, in addition to the roof solar prep, you still maintain a side solar plug. A lot of brands have phased that out as they've added roof prep, and Cougar's maintain both. And in here, just a simple kind of docking center that, uh, you know, the, the white thing with the knobs, that's going to be like our little outside shower. And that's where this handy little blue coily hose comes from. Now, a couple things as we get down here. First of all, just a look at the front auto leveling jacks from the ground control system right here. And these things are heavy duty. But if I slide over here a little further, what you're going to see isn't impressive to look at. It's an enclosed underbelly, and that's cool. But the thing is, Cougars, a couple years ago, when they first adopted a windshield, they dramatically enhanced their cold camping package, which also, by extension, enhanced their hot camping package. And we'll talk more about that even in just a minute, but for cold camping. So, they have an enclosed underbelly. It is heated. There is a radiant barrier down there. They also had 12 volt tank heaters on all of their holding tanks, standard. Then what they do is they uh, actually run their water lines in the underbelly directly next to their heat lines so that those heat lines are organically helping uh, keep those water lines warm. Then they have a direct forced air heat line onto every single holding tank inside that underbelly so that you have a direct uh, forced air heated tank and 12 volt heated tank pads going at the same time inside an enclosed protected and radiant barriered underbelly. And what all that adds up to is something that can stand up to some serious cold weather. And they've actually done the testing and not just promised it, but they've proven it. Keystone is like Jayco. They will prove their hot cold camp capability. Now for hot camping, we'll talk more about that on the roof, but this white exterior is organically helping shed so much heat compared to the old champagne skin that were on these cougars, which I thought visibly looked awesome, but this does help with the weather. Now we saw uh, the uh, side view camera prep up top below the marker lights, you see rear view prep. And then down here, the white elements in those tail lights, that is uh, a reverse travel light. So when you shift into uh, R for race mode, or I guess some people call it reverse, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> you can see what's going on behind you. Down below here, another standard feature that's really handy is a 300 pound rated accessory rack. Because one of the things Keystone's good about is having one of the industry's most comprehensive and best three-year structural warranties available out there. Well, they don't want you to void it. They don't want you to screw up and lose it. So they include that hitch on the back. So if you want to add a bike rack, cargo tray, a uh, small generator perhaps, you can do those things without voiding anything out. Now remember, you have that extra bunk inside, which I think is one of the signature calling cards of this floor plan. I love that extra bed space. That does mean we have a low profile camp kitchen, but the thing is, They've done a very, very effective one here. You've, and they remember, you have that outside shower uh, up by the front of the RV on the driver's side. We saw the, the hookup station. You have a separate camp shower over here, which you can use for some campsite cleanup. I think it's also a really good way to quick hose the kids off if they've been in the lake or something like that before you send them inside. And remember, the shower's right by the door in this one, so they don't carry that turtle lake smell through the entire thing. Screaming hot burning capital grill when it is cooking time for the whole family. And it's kind of back here where it's private. It's not under an awning where you got to worry about, you know, uh, the, the smoke and stuff getting in the awning, which really isn't an issue. But I have had people comment on that. So I guess I just point it out when I see it. And we do have TV hookups over here as well. So you've got dual awnings. So they have like a protected entryway. We have our dedicated patio space here. Then you have a wide open cooking area and you can keep an eye on all of that with that big campsite slide and all those glorious windows letting you see what's going on in your Cougar campsite. Now we carry a lot of different things here at Haylet RV for all kinds of different budget points and whatnot. And one of the things that we always mention is how every RV that we carry does have a walkable roof. Every travel trailer, fifth wheel, whatever. The funny thing is, and I don't really know what the difference is, but there's something on these Cougars. I don't know what they're doing different. It is one of the most stable, sturdy, underfoot, zero flex roofing systems like I've ever been on. It's very comfortable up here. You don't feel like you're going to slip around. Now, a couple other things I want to point out. In front of the bathroom vent here, you see that black plug sticking up next to that white hockey puck. 
that is our uh, roof solar prep plug. So if you want to, you can start throwing panels all over the place. But that hockey puck thing, what is that all about? Well, just like you have the white exterior skin, you have the white exterior uh, roof membrane, those hockey pucks are going to help you in the hot climates. Those things are basically roof attic vents. So where the roof studs, the trusses, the rafters with the insulation, whatever you want to call that, in the RV industry, we kind of call that the attic space. And just like in your house, if you don't vent that heat, it going, it's, it's going to get hot. Now, interestingly, in residential construction, for code reasons, you have to vent it. In the RV industry, you don't, which I've always found very fascinating. So they're doing a thing here they don't have to, to keep your family comfortable, protected. There's a lot of benefits to it. And if that sounds good, give our team here at Haywood RV a call. If you appreciate the way that we're willing to say the good with the bad, to make sure that you're finding your second camper the first time, please hit subscribe, follow along with us, and join our family-owned and operated facility here at Haywood RV as we cover a whole lot more in RVing. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. You see those vehicles? We also do package deals with trucks, too. So if you need something to haul this, give us a call. We can make that happen.